Nathan, what is good? How are you? Dude, I'm I'm snowed in. Call You're me s- call me Edward because I'm snowed in. <laughs> You went outside in no clothes and screamed that at 2 a.m. this morning. I screamed it. Uh, here's a real fact. You stole a sled from a child and and just went all the way down Lexington Avenue screaming that. <laughs> What's a real fact? I was waiting for someone to just give me a real-life RT on that <laughs> on that tweet I never Could made. Could you slide me a real-life RT, please? Uh, here's a real here's real life from uh-huh. today. I woke up at 2 p.m., I know. I, I texted you. Re- responded to Caldwell's texts uh, from earlier. Uh-huh. Uh, and Caldwell responded, all caps, it is 2 p.m. How are you real? <laughs> I didn't. Because well, I've been up since like 8 a.m. And because you Cause said. I don't hey, have a dog. I don't have said, a living being that wakes me up in the morning well that's fair but at first let me explain on my end because i'm not great with time zones in general i i don't have my temporal lobe is shriveled um so when i got this text from you and you said hey i just woke up i was like oh it's it's only because it was 11 p.m or 11 a.m where i am i was like oh that's not a big deal and then i was like wait wait a minute (laughs) and then i did some some infernal sun math in my brain and realized that it was 2 p.m did you at least go to sleep super late uh, sure. Wait, what time did you go to bed, Nathan? Uh, Nathan Montgomery Yaffe, what time did you go to bed? Tell me right now. I don't know, like, like 2 a.m.? <laughs> All right, that's that's, that's decent. 12. To be fair, to that's be fair, solid I... solid 12. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's a solid, yeah, oh, that's a solid 12-er. Great work. That's a half, great, great work on that half day. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I slept it. <laughs> great work on that. <laughs> I mean, that's how I would live my life. Yeah. If, if I didn't have any things to get up for, I'm, I think I think a solid twelve every you night. Just, you just be pulling slumber noons all the time. Yeah, just just sleep half your, half your life. That's uh-huh. how that's how the healthiest people. That's how you you know. I'm just feeling. That's how a you little, get there. I'm just feeling a little irked because I myself went to bed at three a.m. last night because I was just editing this stupid Draga video forever. Oh man, I'm so excited to, for that to come out though. I know. It's that'll if, be when, out tomorrow. When we release this from, vi- yeah. from from when this video is released. It will be the tomorrow I'm I'm using forethought. Unlike me, you are very good at uh temporal geography and uh <laughs> temporal geography. Knowing how time works. You're basically a time wizard. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you hold all these dates and places in your mind. <laughs> this is why like every time uh, <laughs> I try to make plans. Basically, like, this is one of the main reasons I got married. I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's I just it was, acquired... This was part of your vows. Yeah, I acquired a calendar that loves me very much. Susanna, you are the best calendar a man could hope for. Uh huh. Please, will you will you help me plan my schedule until I have no more schedule to plan? She's not. Oh, you're you're doing my vows. I thought yeah. that you were trying to. I thought that you were trying to like steal my wife from me somehow oh no never i thought that you were gonna say will you marry me and i was like no you can't say that i said that yeah no i was doing you i, <laughs> I was doing you're... you that just just then just now <laughs> i thought you were trying to uh to wife snatch me <laughs> called well i would never Bro, professional wife snatcher nathan yaffe do not will, will not snatch from don't, his friends don't make my life uh, a cliche action movie don't steal my wife, dude. I, I only steal wives from people who deserve it. <laughs> You're like some I'm like sort a of... Robin Hood of wives. Uh huh. <laughs> I steal How many... from the. <laughs> I steal. <laughs> I, I steal from the happy. <laughs> I only. I only steal from polygamists if they have more than one wife. Oh, I like that. Let's <laughs> let's delve into this though. I like this idea of you stealing wives from people that are like mistreating them. Like maybe you're. It's like a battered wife situation where you're you're helping get him out of there. That's actually pretty noble of you. That's a real vigilante situation. Um, or is it? Then what do you do with the wives? Do you redistribute the wives? I'm confused. What's, yeah, this, what's part give, two of this plan? I give the wives to to husbands who need them more. Right. Or if they want to be an independent woman on their own, uh, then they can do that too. Right. Yes. Right, yeah, Nathan. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Just like how Robin Hood, when, uh-huh. when he stole the money, sometimes he'd give it to the poor, and sometimes he would just let it go free. Yeah, sometimes he'd just, he would just throw it in a pond. Sometimes the money would be sentient. <laughs> Women are not objects, guys. That's Yeah, it was a poor <laughs> analogy. That's weird. Isn't it fun oh. when you're making an analogy and you can just like feel it like slipping through your hands like so yeah. much sand? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. I thought I had it right there. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> I do like if if nothing else, I I really enjoy that uh, this conversation has made me given me the image of uh, of Robin Hood stealing money from like a rich person and then instantly just being like hacha and then just throwing it in in a river. <laughs> <laughs> or just eating it. <laughs> Hacha! Hacha! <laughs> this money will make a good stew. He. <laughs> Speaking he, of stew, he pulls out a hot dog and just covers it in doubloons and just chomps <laughs> it right in front of the this friggin' earl. Mmm, tastes like my own blood. <laughs> Take that, Duke. <laughs> just teeth falling out of his face. <laughs> I mean, that's how you get. That's how you get a reputation. You yeah. Know? Well, that's why, you know, you in those old uh, shows, you'd see people like biting currency because mm-hmm. that they needed to make sure that it was real money and not yeah. just something that Robin Hood was going to steal and try and eat. <laughs> they had to make sure it hadn't been pre-chewed by Robin Hood. Uh-huh. Because if, <laughs> if, if it's real gold, because the poor people had to, had to invent a secondary currency so that Robin Hood wouldn't steal their money and try and eat it. <laughs> This is Robin Hood's brother, Robin Food. Robin Food. <laughs> it's spelled Robin Food, but it's pronounced Robin Food. Exactly, because it's British and <laughs> stupid. It's British and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me about your stew. How much? How many? How many do cats are you putting in it? Oh my gosh! Um, I got some do cats. I got some uh-huh. do gongs. Dang. That's I got, a lot. Uh, it's a, a blubbery, uh, it's a blubbery, metally stew. I got some Mountain Dew. Mm-hmm. I got some Dew. Where's my car? No. <laughs> Take that one out. Uh, I've just been eating stew and drinking wine all day. So <laughs> That sounds pretty great. Unofficial, unofficial drink and droppy coming uh-huh. up. I'm going to make this exact same goof in that, in that also. What, the, the Dew, where's my car? No, that, the that goof? Just, just say that it's an unofficial drink and drop. Oh, sure. That's less of a goof or more of just a statement, but I'll I'll, I'll allow it. Yeah, I'm being pretty liberal with <laughs> what I will classify as a goof. And yet I'm over here in beautiful, sunny Los Angeles. I heard not you guys a, had a cloud today. We did. We had one cloud. I'm and, so sorry. Uh, it was cool, though. It was like a very, it's just a single cloud. Uh, yeah. It was just one, one sphere, <laughs> a spherical, perfect cloud. A perfect I, circle cloud. <laughs> Oh, wait, shit, I'm looking at it again. It's the moon. I was confused. <laughs> That's the moon. My bad. Millions in LA panic because they think they see a cloud. Turns out to be the moon. <laughs> oh, dude, the the other night I was walking the dog and uh, it, it was cloudy and there was a perfect like uh, luminous circle surrounding the moon, uh, which is I did not know was a thing that could happen. But I guess huh. like the, the light was re- refracting in such a way that the moon was casting like a perfect uh, circle arc. Ooh, uh, it was like fun. a beautiful uh, celestial fairy circle. You were using an AOE attack. <laughs> exactly. I was like, oh shit, that's a huge range. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, does AOE moon, stand the moon, for? The moon has a really big hitbox. Uh, area of effect called well. Uh, okay, sure. So, sorry, I'm not a game. I'm not a pro gamer like you. <laughs> I'm only I'm a <laughs> filthy game. ass casual. Yeah, dude, get out of my get out of my pug. I'll go I'll go back to playing <laughs> uh puzzle babies learn and swipe. Uh puzzle babies colon dreamers. Uh unless you're playing the expansion, I don't even want to talk <laughs> to you you're... about puzzle babies. <laughs> unless you're playing puzzle babies pro. Unless PC you're playing build. Puzzle, puzzle babies on Baby pro or higher on on a rate on an Alienware Raven decked out water cooled <laughs> PC piss cooled PC. That's right, it's cooled by my own piss. It's it's a perfect system. I'm I'm hooked up to a catheter. I am it's one with my rig. What? It's a piston. <laughs> I'm glad. It's a perfect system <laughs> piston. You know, sometimes I, I I talk over you, and I'm like, should I should I just 
press onward or should I go back and hear what he had to say? And most of the times I regret Almost it. always <laughs> you should press onward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Are you going to get – you... like, Because I usually come into the office even if yeah. it's a weekend to record. Mm-hmm. Right. And like there's like an air of professionality no. to it. Well, like you're I'm, – I'm doing some brain tricks. I think that – we're setting a good tone because your audio is going to sound like grubbage. Like yeah, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I I didn't think to bring my microphone home for the snow times. Okay, it's going to sound like some fresh grated garbaggio. Uh, well, that's good. Yeah, through, you will listen through the garbage and mm-hmm. hear. Like who's that? Hear the what? Hear the what? Hear reach me. into that. Yeah, just reach hear into me. that garbage. My voice <laughs> coming through the garbage saying. Hey guys, don't worry about it. Well, now I'm just picturing like someone in a like a, a bomb or something in a garbage heap, and they're just like put, shoveling aside garbage uh, in search of some treasure, and then all of a sudden it's just your face there, and you're like, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> it's like the uh, the very end of uh, Attack on Titan, or like yeah. the, the wall <laughs> falls away, and it's just a face. Yeah. Hi there. Just, oh hey. <laughs> I see you found my home. I see you found my home. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> please do not be alarmed. Could you uh, could you sweep those pistachios off of my chin, please? <laughs> Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so so we're gonna do um, a drink and draw fee, uh, a, an impromptu drink and draw fee today. Impromptu gonna... drink. I mean, you can drink too, Caldwell. I That's just true. have been and am continuing to. I might I might crack a brew. I've got some. Uh, let's some brew. Pilsners. Let's. Let's be brew bros. I might enjoy a pilsner or two. <laughs> oh, that might be not so bad after all. I do that, and some somehow I'm somehow I'm arrested. <laughs> I mean, you can't you can't record and drink and drink and stream. Exactly. I what happens is I I, I take a sip of the beer, and then uh, and then I crash the internet and uh, yeah. I'm arrested. I'm arrested for it. Nathan, I'm just looking at your headphones now, and they're covered in so much tape. Yeah, it's Gorilla Tape. It... <laughs> don't don't <laughs> say that like it's an excuse. Don't say that like it's any sort of explanation. It's at the all. same tape that I used to tape up my shoes when I first got hired. I remember that. I remember uh, those sad, sad shoes. You guys, you bought me new shoes. Fun fact: Caldwell bought me new shoes because he got <laughs> he got tired of I looking at my. I got fed up. <laughs> he got fed up. With Actually, my dumb shoes. This is a really good business tactic that, <laughs> just, that I think this is a Nathan where... Yaffe tip for success. <laughs> which is um number one, Don't come get to your new things. Come to your job interview in the nicest clothes you have. Yeah. But even then they're not that nice of clothes. <laughs> oh. So we're like Nathan came in this like real this real roomy suit and we were like, Oh, God bless him, he's trying. And then when we hired him, he showed up in like <laughs> Just that suit. Um, <laughs> I wear it to every holiday party. <laughs> it's get my only suit. suit. Get a new suit. No. You chump. No, you get me a suit. <laughs> I will not. I'll make you a suit out of gorilla. Don't. Yeah, just make your own. Make a suit out of gorilla tape. You chunts. You dirty chunts. I tell you what. And but the the follow up to this tactic, which works so well, is that you you come in like your nicest clothes, but then the day that you start the job, come in your worst clothes, come in your 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 tape uh your tape ensemble. <laughs> you, you I already de- had the job at that point. Exactly, you got nothing to lose and I everything didn't need to, to put gain on airs because anymore. because somebody's going to take pity on you and buy you some shoes that aren't mostly holes. <laughs> no, just, I remember my first day. Mm-hmm. Uh, we both were wearing almost the exact same red plaid shirt. Sure. And so you were going around introducing me to uh-huh. people, being like, "Hey, this is the new illustrator," and everyone would be like, "Hey, you wear the same shirt as you because mm-hmm. you guys both illustrators." And shirts. I said, "How dare you! Don't you don't you dare talk to my son like that." <laughs> it, was a, it was good. It was a good first yeah. day. I, this is a clone, and I fucked up real bad. <laughs> Number one, he's taller than me. That's good, I guess. <laughs> Number look one, at his shoes. fixed whatever issue I had with height. <laughs> Within like, actually, no. I mean, you are. If I set out to make a clone of myself, it would probably look. You know, you you've got a lot of attributes that are enviable. I would say, like the you're swarthy, you're tall. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you're. 
or just I've no, I don't know if any if anyone's ever called me swarthy before. You you just the way you fill out a plaid shirt is uh <laughs> ma oof a garbaggio. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a garbaggio <laughs> shirt wearing. <laughs> Garba garbaggio Jones. Swarthy means dark skinned. Oh really? Just looked it up. Uh oh. Uh oh. I thought that swarthy meant um hairy, of her suit. Having dark skin of dark color, complexion, or cast. Uh yeah. I'm glad I learned this. I could have been embarrassed. I'm very thoroughly. I'm very pale. No, I yeah. guess you could confuse me uh, of being dark skinned if you just look at my hair and yeah. think that's my skin. It's my bad, not, dude. though. Uh, yeah, what I, I meant to say, her suit, I guess. Uh, okay. I, okay. Swarthy is a, it's a, it's, it's a good word. I don't know if it's an, how appropriate a word it is to say um, now that I'm, now that I've said it out loud and now that I know what it means. I'm just hey, going to like, yeah. It's okay. I was going to, I'm just going to re- retire that one from the lex, the old lexicon. I think it's, from it was on. in there and now it's gone. There it is. Moving forward. Moving onward forward, and moving onward, upward. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But Nathan, speaking of your clothing, I'm, you're wearing a, a very fun shirt right now. You have a lot of shirts like this. Uh, describe <laughs> it to the listeners. Uh, it's just it's just a shirt with a with a cat wearing sunglasses. And but the sunglasses me- have it's a. Just, um, it says meow. Oh, I didn't even notice that. It says meow in like a very. Uh, f- it looks like the the font. It's a serif font. Yeah, it's like the font that would be used on like a high end fashion magazine. Yeah, uh, it's very it's, fashion. It's a fashion shirt. So, um, man. <laughs> You know it's very you, comfortable. You know when you have those realizations about your life and your choices? Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is no, more so you, like... No, what? No, never. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, allow me to educate you. Okay. I guess what I was just going to say is my friend in college, uh, a guy named Mike, also had a, a large wardrobe full of cat shirts. And I'm, I'm just realizing at this moment, at this juncture, like the... Just the correlation between me and the friends that I choose. <laughs> <laughs> How much go- gorilla tape did uh did Mike have in his wardrobe? Though? A thorough amount. He was kind of a slob too. Well, there <laughs> to you <be> have <laughs> it. <laughs> it is, yeah. Uh, you need no, one of us to to stand next to to look yeah. to look better than. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this dude had some dirty jeans. <laughs> Uh, you know, the kind where like they're too long, and as opposed to getting them hemmed, you just kind of let them get ragged at the bottom. Yeah, that was a real, real Mike Bayreuther move. That's right called the. Uh, that's called jeans. <laughs> that's how you wear jeans. That's called jeans, dude. You get the long jeans, mm-hmm. and then the part that's too long it falls off eventually. Uh, Nate, you were dropping like so many pearls today. <laughs> this is some full snow, snow wisdom some snow coming wisdom. at you. <laughs> I'm in the comfort of my some own thoughts. home. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, just being real, just being real with you. So real, so right. Um, uh, should we, should we record an actual episode of this show? I think so. Let's, let's, um, let's get some suggestions together. Let's, uh, bundle them up, uh, strapped into our back, put on our snowshoes and head out into the, uh, the brilliant white. I like it. Cool. All right. Well, guys, thanks for, for tuning in. Um, sorry again for the, the audio, it's a little scratchy today, but uh, we're doing our best. We're, we're trapped. Well, Nathan's trapped in his home. I'm free to go as I please. Uh, this has been Ice Trophy, and we're not even that sorry. Mm-mm.